Hey everybody, I'm Michael from Sew in Place and the Sew in Sweep. We've had a lot of interest in the Juki long arm once again, and uh, I thought it would be a good time to make a video for you describing a lot of the features and the real big deals when we talk about the Jukis as far as the long arms go. This is the Miyabi. This is the Juki's latest incarnation of their famous Juki 2200 long arm. And what sets this apart is that it has a stitch regulator that's regulating without the little mechanical wheels. It actually has a seeing uh, sensor. So the machine is seeing how fast you're moving the fabric. Uh, and by doing so, it can make your stitches the same size throughout. The benefit of that is that you can use this machine on a frame or if you downsize or want a different version of this, you can actually use it as a tabletop model and move the fabric around on your own. So it's actually one of the only machines in the industry that you can use it in both venues. The frame itself is designed wonderfully. The uh, ends are all welded together, the insides are all welded together, and it assembles very quickly and it's not going to fall apart on you because there's not as many little pieces to put together. The machine itself is an oil-free machine. That's really important when you're talking about quilting because you don't want to get oil on your quilts. Obviously there are some places that you could get in there in oil, but for the most part it's maintenance-free. Uh, you don't have to take it off and bring it to your mechanic every year or anything like that. Um, I would say probably once every 10 years is actually plenty for this machine. The machine is an industrial design like all good Jukis are. And with that, we have things like an extra hand wheel on the side because it's really hard to reach over there to turn the hand wheel if you need to. Typically, you don't need to do that so much, but maybe you're changing the needle and uh, need a little better angle. The handlebars are very comfortable. We have nice lighting, LED lighting, really high uh, intensity lighting. And uh, the handlebars are also changeable to the position that you may find works best for you. Everything's changeable on this frame as well. You can literally raise this frame up 11 inches or down, obviously, to find the height that suits you. This setup right here is a five foot frame, but this machine uh, and frame can actually go up to 12 feet long, depending on what your need is. And we can obviously get those for you. When we use this machine, we've got some really great features. We have a laser that plugs right in here, and the laser can literally be unplugged and taken to the back side if you put a rear set of handlebars on it. When you run this machine, it's a matter of just touching the start button and moving the machine around. On the screen, it's very easy to choose your stitch size. So all we do is plus or minus on the screen and now our stitches are longer or shorter depending on what our preference is. You'll notice also when I stop that the needle stops up. If I want it to stop down, I can make that choice. Now every time I stop, the needle will stop down. One of the really good features about a Juki is it has high speed industrial thread trimmers. What does that mean? It means you touch a button and it literally cuts your threads top and bottom. When it does that then, we can actually just start sewing our next seam and it's gonna be fine. Uh, those threads are going to lock and we're going to be okay. All you have to do is let the machine set for one second so the stitches lock themselves into place. When you're ready to go to the next feature here, we can see we have precise mode. Precise mode means when I start sewing and stop moving, the machine stops until I start moving again. If I were in cruise mode, the machine will idle at whatever speed you determine, even if you're not moving. So I can increase that to 20%, for example. And the idling mode for me is really nice for locking in my corners and my points. It's adding extra stitches to lock your seams well. Juki also has a basting function so that when you wanna uh, put your quilt on the frame, you don't have to pin it quite as much as you normally would. So when we do the basting function, I like to put uh, a couple stitches in, hit my basting button, and you can see now I have this very, very long stitch. If I wanna make that shorter or longer, it's really, really easily done. So that was shorter, and here's the very, very long basting stitch.
for those of us that have been in this business a long time, we've also had the opportunity to run long arm machines at one speed. If you are used to that, like I am, you'll find the manual mode is to your liking. You can literally run the machine without having stitch regulation. As I said earlier, your laser can be attached. If you notice here on the fabric, we can move this wherever we want. We can also put it on the back side if we had handlebars and we could put pantographs on there. This is uh, one of the finest machines I think I've ever had the joy of selling, especially in the sense of how well it sews. I hear so many times folks will have long arms and long arms are a little more to learn than a standard home machine because you're doing some unnatural things with them. But the development of this machine and the manufacturing uh, precision in this machine has led to a wonderful stitch quality. Even so much so that people will ask me, what kind of thread do I use on this machine? And my honest answer to them is that I tell them to use whatever makes them happy because this machine will tolerate virtually any thread that I've ever thrown at it. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments box, email us, or give us a call at our shops. You can reach us at 717-352-3050 or at 410-848-8080.